Okay, hi there. Um, so this is Melanie from Windmill Vintage Designs. We're in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And today I am working on this little wooden trash can. So client brought me in this little guy, super old. Um, she's had it outside for a long time and it needs some love to make it um, pretty. She wants it to be true New Mexico style, a little bit of Southwest in there. So I'm gonna be using um, Debbie's Design Diaries. We're gonna be using these paints. These are clay-based chalk paints. Um, they're really thick, they grab on really good, and they blend super, super well. So we'll be using a few different colors, and then we're going to go back and make this Risha um, pop out, okay? So I'm going to be using, I'm going to be staying all kind of in the greeny, turquoise kind of colors, because that's what she wants. So we're using Mermaid Tail, um, Old 57, and Sea Glass. And that's what we're going to be kind of blending up here to um, make, make this guy pretty, okay? So I went ahead and I put... This is called Queen Bee. I put some yellow in these little guys. Probably gonna end up covering it, most of it back up, but a little bit might be popping them back out. So we're, that's how we're gonna do this. So um, in this bottle here, I have water. This is a misting bottle. Um, they're great. You can get small versions of this, a good one, at um, Hobby Lobby. We do sell these at my store. So hit me up if you want a good one. And let's go ahead and start. So I'm gonna move these over here. And actually what I'm gonna do first this little trash can has a lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint the top of this lid because ah, I want it to kind of flow down and blend. And then I'm gonna take the lid off so I can get this look under here, okay? But I want it to be all blendy together. So just like painting a dresser with the drawers in, um, same kind of things going on here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into my mermaid tail. Mermaid tail is a deep, deep greeny turquoise color and let's go ahead and just get some of that on here so when you're blending colors um, not all paints blend the same they're different they're all blendable but if they have any latex in them it's definitely going to make it a little bit more difficult to blend um, and a lot of these uh, chalk based paints do have latex in them so it does make it a little bit trickier although it is possible still so when it comes to blending um, DIY is is just honestly it's like the easiest way to go that's how I feel about that um, although there are lots of lots of paints that are good for lots of things so let's go ahead and just get a coat so I know you can't really see up here but we're just gonna get some of that done and then I'll finish the top of that later so as we go down, let's just add, add some color here, and we're going to add some over here. So the key to this is that we want to keep it wet while we're blending. Um, so if our paint dries out too, too much, we can add water to reactivate it, but it does definitely make your life easier if you just kind of keep it wet. So I'm going to move kind of fast. As you can see, this is extremely dry wood, so it's just gonna suck up my paint really, really fast. I didn't put anything on here. I could have primed it to help me have more working time, but honestly, it's a little trash can. And it's just not really necessary to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my mermaid tail over here. And now we're gonna dip into some Old 57. This is a much lighter, much, much lighter color. And using the same brush, these are the Klingon brushes sold by Wiesel. Um, I do sell that paint also if you ever want to try that one. Don't think I need an affiliate alert for that because I sell them both, so I don't think I do. Hopefully I don't. So now we're just gonna start mixing these colors in. So we have a graduating colors going down and um, just kind of mixing it up, giving this little trash can a little bit more oomph than we would if we just painted it a solid color. Or if we didn't use water, what would happen was that we would just be laying these colors on top of each other and not blending them. So if I just keep misting as I go, just keeps reactivating my paint and allowing me to really, really mix it up a little bit. So already I think that's looking very pretty. I love the different 
different colors that are going on in there, all very blendy. In some places we have um, made different colors all together. So now I'm gonna go ahead and dip into my sea glass and we'll add a little bit more of a different shade. So the sea glass is gonna be more of a baby bluey kind of a color. Let's go ahead and add that in over here and get it out of my way. My little table's just not quite big enough. So we'll get this down here and just keep blending that in. So it's not falling into my restroy, which is fine because we're gonna paint that guy red anyways when we're done. All right, so I think again, I'm gonna go back to my mermaid towel a little bit more and um, blend that in up here. I want some some distinctions of colors that blend into each other. And make it pretty. Get in these little nicks and crannies. And then I think my favorite was this old 57. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit back over here again. So I really was enjoying the way that looked until I covered it back up. So by going both ways, we're working that paint in more. And we can go back and smooth out any lines that we don't want. And let's see, how's that look to you guys? I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it just like that. And we're gonna flip this guy. So this is the only side that has any definition. These ones are just gonna be blended. I'm gonna reach up here and um, do this part again. We started with the mermaid tail. So that's what we're gonna do up here on the top. And get a little bit more on this top. Okay, so now I'm gonna lift this up and get some more Marie towel underneath here so that the lid of this, when it sits back down, it matches and has color everywhere. So we'll do it like that, okay? All right, so now we're just gonna kind of repeat what we did. It doesn't really matter exactly where we put it because we're gonna go ahead and blend all this up anyways, right? Now let's just get it on some different areas. We're gonna reach into our old 57, give it a squirt. And let's just add some of this in here. Let's go back and forth. To blend it, make this little trash can super cute and pretty. So, like I said, we're in Albuquerque, New Mexico. If you follow me on Facebook at Windmill Vintage Designs, and Paint Against the Machine over here on YouTube. And voila. So you can see that you can do this kind of stuff very simple and very easy. It goes very fast. And you come out with a beautiful look for yourself or your customers, whoever you're doing it for. Go back up to the top. Get underneath there, those little holes. And we'll lift this up. don't know how you guys comment or anything on these videos. I don't know. I know Facebook good, but I don't know YouTube too good. So if you do like what I do though, I know that I'm supposed to ask you to subscribe and um, share the channel if you would. The more it grows, the more time I will spend um, giving it attention and doing more and more projects on here. Mixing that up. And this is 
just a small how to blend using DIY. Everybody has their own techniques. This is again, it's a trash can, so we're not getting super fancy here, guys. There we go. So that side's done also. Try to find a drier place to touch it. This way. Now we've got one more side. So again with the mermaid tail first. Trying to kind of match what we did all the way around. A little bit. Not really worried about it, but we might as well make it somewhat matchy-matchy, right? Uh, let's dip in a little bit more. Getting here. I'm getting quite a bit of paint on my brush because this wood is so dry. And I'm trying to um, get full coverage in one coat, which with these paints, luckily, is not a problem at all. Very highly pigmented and uh, pretty darn easy to paint with and to blend with. So I have heard people say, you know, sometimes it's really hard to get a smooth finish. I think that really depends on um, what your brush you're using. As you can see these brushes, I mean, this is, again, it's a trash can and I'm getting just a totally smooth finish on it without any problems whatsoever. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get back into my old 57. I'm going to give it a little squirt again, get it nice and wet for me, not soaking, but pretty wet. The Misty model makes a huge difference when you're blending color, um, is you don't have the drips that fall down when you use a regular um, squirt bottle. So that is helpful. This paint's really not a big deal because they blend right in, but I have blended color with some and the drips actually stay um, little drippy, so that's not cool. Unless, of course, you're going for drippy. Then I guess it's great, but that's not what we're going for. All right. So that is that. Now we have a pretty little trash can. Let's see if I got the top all the way. I'm gonna put a little bit more up here. And this paint dries super, super fast, so I think we'll be able to move on to our chili ristra here in just a second. Making sure I've got full coverage everywhere. And I'll touch ups over here. So that is that portion of what we're doing. So I'm going to move all these aside so I can get them out of my way. Put them all over here. And there like that. And let's flip this again. So as you can see, as we look over here, this is already seriously drying. You can see the darker parts that are not um, dry yet, but a good, good, good portion of it is. Let's go ahead. We're gonna blend this down a little bit. So we came around the corner. It was a little bit of a different shade since we were blending. So you can see it's easy to reactivate that paint and just get that to blend right back in there. So now for the restras, I was thinking we'll go ahead and use Carnival Red. Um, again by DIY, I'm going to go in with a bit of a smaller brush and um, try to get these restras to look pretty cool. Well, let's see, I am not a canvas artist, okay? So this could be interesting. 
but I think we'll be all right. Let's find out. So as we get, I'm gonna go. So these are engraved, so that's nice. It gives us a nice, good line of um, where we wanna go. Okay. So we're just gonna continue on like that. Trying to keep the paintbrush so that it doesn't spread out on me. Keep it nice and tight. Up. And there. Okay, so we've got one little restore done. And then I'm going to do something up here later. She wants some of the little. Um, You know, the stuff that draws the restras that holds it together, the raffi stuff, I forget what it's called. So we'll be hand painting on those later. But now we're going to just keep going this way. And getting that on there. This one goes this way. Get back in those little grooves a little more. I want it all the way in. So I think I'm going to need to go back with some kind of highlighter so that I can separate these guys a little bit, probably with a little bit of green and a little bit of white to show some reflections of the sun. Um, hitting off those restros to give them a little bit more bang. Because of the way they're carved out, they weren't really necessarily meant to be painted, so might just look like a big blob. So that's okay. And if you know if that doesn't work, then you can always just paint over it. It's not a big deal. I find that's the biggest thing with painting. You know, don't be afraid. Just paint over it. It's okay. If you mess up, you don't like what you did. That is how we learn. Okay, so we need one more. <laughs> we'll get that one done.
All right, guys, so there we go. We have our little restores on there. Always go back and tighten that up a little bit, which I will definitely do. But for now, that is that. So I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna sit back and look at it, and then I will decide what is next for this cute little trash can. Definitely gonna put some more yellow back in there. And um, you know, I might even end up blending some more coral and such a colors in there too. But as for right now, this is what we've got. So thank you for watching. Again, if you wanna see more of me, my face, um, <laughs> feel free to subscribe and um, share if you would. Okay, awesome. Have a great day.